All right, it's been about not even 10 minutes yet. I'm on this old one where I did like eight or nine or 10 videos on all the leaks that were on this from new expansion valve, new compressor, new receiver dryer, all new hoses, multiple leaks on gas. Oh, I forgot to show you one thing too. So we're doing, I'm gonna check it one more time under pressure. Uh, but before then, and I've been doing a triple Persian flush with nitrogen. So I've, I'm going through the whole procedure. And see, I'm under 100 microns really fast. I'm right down to 100 microns. So, oh, I didn't show you this. So on these kind of fittings, let's see, my coffee, my latte. Hey, I got to be like those other guys on YouTube. Hey, guys, uh, why don't you buy me a latte? <laughs> Everybody always, actually, I get a lot of people ask me about that. I, I don't have no Patreon, no nothing like that. It's just get the knowledge out there is the first thing so you see what i'm doing here you see this little shaft in here there's a packing in here and if you ever find out that you can't do a good vacuum it's because of this packing so let's get that around am i getting you there good there okay around there we'll let that fall around it can leak vacuum through this packing you know you have to screw these halfway in halfway out or, or you just crack them a little bit and uh let me see if i could zero in on here for you get a little closer Yeah, it's more than needed. That's that's too much, but um, you have uh, leaks right there, and so sometimes you'll have a leak, and you'll never be able to pull vacuum because of this packing in here leaking. And by doing this, vacuum cannot pull through the nylon. This is specially made for vacuum to stop vacuum. It never gets hard. It's made out of refrigerant oil, so you're not going to contaminate anything. And if you don't have that because you're not you're in another country or it's like stupidly expensive to order it to your country, silicone grease, spark plug boot grease, dielect, dielectric grease, every country has that. And you can put a little dielectric grease in there and vacuum cannot pull through dielectric grease. Where are we at? We're down to 90 microns. You can live with that. I could live with that. I think we're pretty good. We'll see what the vacuum decay is, but this is only the first few minutes because it's brand new hoses, brand new compressor, brand new receiver dryer, brand new expansion valve. The only thing that's still old is the condenser and the evaporator. That's it. And this is what a clean, dry system looks like at 89 microns. And that's how it's supposed to be. See you guys later.